World War 3 is a really nice looking game with some of the most detailed maps I've seen in some time. But all of these nice graphics come at a cost, and that is performance. And we all probably know that World War 3 is not the best optimized game for low to medium end PCs. So after a lot of requests and tests, I think it's finally time to give you guys my best settings to maximize the FPS and still keep some of these nice visuals. Before we get started, keep this in mind that some of these settings might not work for you, but they're definitely worth a try. And as always, don't forget to drop a like and a comment for the mighty algorithm and subscribe for more content. But with that out of the way, let's begin. And first, make sure you have your drivers up to date, as this can help you increase performance and reduce crashes. Now, as last time, we're going to start with some Windows settings, and here it's gonna be really simple. All you have to do is go to the Start menu, type in Graphics, and open the Graphics settings, and here you will need to turn on Hardware Accelerate GPU, if available for you, and down below add World War 3 as shown in the video and set the performance to high. It could be a bit tricky to find World War 3, but you can go in Task Manager when you are in-game, and then go to World War 3 Process, right-click, Open File Location, and you'll find the needed file. After doing this, we'll move to some NVIDIA options. Here, you go to Desktop, right-click, and Open NVIDIA Control Panel. After you do that, go to Manage 3D Settings and add World War 3, as shown in the video again. I won't go through everything here, so best is just to copy all these settings, as most of them are for increasing performance. But if you have an AMD graphics card, you'll have to set everything to performance mode, or you can go online and search for the best settings for AMD cards. I'm sorry, I don't have an AMD card and I cannot help you too much there, but setting everything to performance should just do the trick. And now after all of this is done, we can finally move to in-game settings. But after you start the game, there's another thing you can do to help you increase a bit the performance and that is Open Task Manager after you open the game, go to Details, find World War 3 and set the priority to high. This will allow your PC to use all your resources on the game and usually helps with stabilizing the FPS and the stutters. And after doing this, we can finally move to in-game settings, where I've done quite a bit of testing and I found that these settings are the best for performance and visibility, so let's begin. For the modem resolution, you will want to use full screen and the max resolution available for you. For me, this is 1920 by 1080, but in case you still have issues, you could try lower that a bit, but keep in mind that the visuals are gonna go down quite a bit as well. After, you want to have VSync off and frame rate in the menu set to like 30, because you don't want your GPU to be used for basically nothing, and the in-game set it to your refresh rate or maximum so you can get the maximum FPS possible out of your card. Field of view I like to keep it maxed out but this is actually a personal preference so definitely set it to wherever you want. Dynamic resolution should be off, in case you still have issues you can turn it on but play around with the settings a bit as this will lower the resolution a distance and could make your game look really really blurry and bad. Frame rate smoothing should be on, for me it makes the game a bit more stable and smooth, but I did hear some players having issues with it, so just do a bit of testing before and see how your game reacts to this. And the settings that help me the most with FPS, which is GPU buffering, turn it on. This will make all GPUs, not just the old ones, as it says in the game, be used at maximum capacity and will help you reach best FPS. For me, this increases the performance with around 30 FPS, so it's definitely quite a big step and it definitely helped me quite a bit. I used to have my GPU used at around 70% and my FPS was not so great and after I turned this on, my GPU goes up to like 95-98%, to 98%, which was pretty good and my FPS went up as well, as expected. Render resolution should be set to 100. I do play 130 to make the game look a bit better for you guys, but this has to be tested depending on how good your PC is, as this can really tank your performance, especially when you ADS with bigger scopes. So definitely play around with this a bit more. Best is to keep at 100, but definitely putting it up can make the game look a bit more crisp and more clear, pretty much. After doing all of this, we'll move to the actual graphical settings. And here you'll want to have volumetric fog off, Textures should be set to medium or high, but that depends if your GPU is decent enough, so again, a bit of testing here. View distance should be set to medium or even high, and after that, just turn everything to low. So lighting, effect, foliage, shadows, mesh quality, AA, ambient occlusion, screen space, reflection should be set to low, as this will drain the most FPS out of your game. 
After that, you'll have to go to gameplay and details and set all of these options to zero. They will help you increase the performance a bit and make the visuals a bit more clear. And these are my best settings for maximum FPS and visibility. So I'll definitely advise you guys use this if you struggle with performance. Now, a bit of extra, I will show you guys my HUD settings as well, because quite a few of you requested this. So I won't go into too many details with this. Basically, I keep the HUD as small and clean as possible. Just copy the settings that I have here or I play around with them more. I usually never really go ahead and change too much when it comes to HUD. I prefer to use the default ones, but Every time I have the chance, I try to make it a bit smaller and stuff, just so I'll have my FOV as clean as possible because, you know, it's quite annoying having a minimap or something like that cover part of your screen where it's an enemy and can get you killed. But that's it about this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll leave another link in the description that will help you even more with performance. It's about DirectX 12 and some stuff like that, so definitely check that out as well. It's from the Steam World War 3 page, and it definitely helps some people as well. Most of them are what I showed you here, but some are actually new that I've tried myself and kind of help in a way. Now, I'll let you watch some clips with these settings to see how well the game runs, and I want you guys to drop your thoughts down below and maybe share your FPS as well after you do those tricks. And before I end this video, I want to let you guys know that I made the Discord server. So if you want to play with me sometimes or, I don't know, drop some thoughts, definitely go ahead, check it out, maybe join. And I don't know, I'll see you there. We'll try to make a nice community. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, make sure to drop a like and a sub for support. And I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of the video. Strike incoming. 